Matt Diffair is a big player in what some still see as quite a new sector. So what's the advantage of being such an established presence in the renewable energy market? You know that uh, renewable energy um, has been a quite sexy industry and uh, has attracted during the, the last the past five years a lot of new competitors. When we decided to step in the business in 2003, it uh, was not so sexy and uh, uh, we, we enter as a tower producer, that was uh, the know-how that we bring from uh, steel structures. But uh, once you are one of the first movers, not first movers, but early movers in the industry, uh, you become very known and a lot of new business uh, uh, will start to come to you. So which are the most promising growth markets for Matife, the ones with the greatest potential? I uh, still believe that metallic construction has a lot of potential and uh, we are getting big contracts. Uh, for instance, uh, in Morocco we got uh, the contract uh, with uh, Renault. Uh, he, in Germany we got the Alston uh, factory. Uh, but we believe that uh, in, in Brazil, new geographies will allow us to, to grow. But solar, as I mentioned, uh, we believe the great potential to, to grow in the, the solar division. How important is it that governments back the renewable energy sector with real incentives, not just promises? When uh, we uh, have the price of the technology that is not competitive against uh, oil and gas, we need some kind of incentive. Um, and for short term, for the next uh, few years, I think it's very important to have uh, uh, a medium large term of incentives to keep the, the industry. But there are different ways to play these uh, incentives. Or you have it in tariff, or you, you give direct incentives to the, the investors, or you have a mandatory incorporation of renewable energy that I believe can be the, 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 the role for the future. If you had to choose one particular area of renewable energy that you think is the one with the best potential, which one would it be? I think uh, after uh, wind, the next will be solar. And uh, uh, comparing with what we have seen in the past with the personal computers, I, uh, I'm imagining the future that each house will have a micro generation uh, system based on solar or wind, but basically on solar. When did you first begin to become really interested, really passionate about renewable energy and its, its potential in business? Our decision is from 2003, uh, particularly in, in the wind. Uh, once you step in uh, renewables, you uh, start to see a lot of opportunities and the, the pressure from Kyoto Protocol made us believe that the future will be renewables. And uh, that's why we invest a lot and we are keeping uh, uh, our activities in renewables. In this particular moment that we have more difficulties with uh, um, financing, uh, our customers are more difficult to finance the projects, uh, uh, the same with us, but we believe that in the future uh, we'll come with a better shape. And we have seen this scenario in 2004, 2005 when the industry was climbing and we have seen the last uh, four, three years how we achieved the, the 30 gig a year in the wind. But obviously you're taking a long-term view. Yes, in the long term, renewables will be there for sure, no doubt about that.